it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a special poster board for taking pictures on for social media, um, or even like a film board. For me, I have my board. Um, as you can see, I don't have it out right now. Um, you know, that has the wood grain on it that I use, and I film on that. Uh, it just kind of depends, because if I just did it, you know, on my desk, we would get this glare all the time from my ring light. So that's why I really like having a poster board. Um, but sometimes it's fun not to just do it on white or black, um, you know, and sometimes you want to do kind of a more special. Uh, so um, I found some really fun um, what is this called? Like it's shelf liner and this works perfectly for making fun little poster boards so that way you can take pictures on. So I've made a dark brown one, I have a light brown one, and then I went to Walmart and I was like, I'm going to look in the shelf liner area because I'm just really curious and I was able to find marble and like this darker wood, which I'm really, really excited about, um, even some floral designs. So I thought I'd show you guys how to cover a poster board with one of these so that way you can make a special board, you know, for your pictures, all that good stuff. These ones from Walmart range from four to five, six-ish dollars. Um, so they were a little bit more expensive, but you get a ton. Like you could do a couple boards with these, honestly. Um, I honestly might give some to my bestie so that way she can do one because I have already done one of this board and I have a ton left. Like I could probably do a couple, um, which is really cool. So you get a ton. So it definitely would be something if you have friends that are around you, um, you know, you could go in together, but you can also get some at the Dollar Tree. These ones are from dollar stores, so they're just a dollar. Um, but I have found that I need at least two of them in order to, you know, completely cover a poster board. So just kind of keep that in mind. You don't get nearly as much and not enough to do a poster board. So I did need two of those. So it's still about $2. Not bad to make a custom, you know, picture, you know, prop kind of thing. So I thought I'd show you today how to go about doing that. It's super simple. Um, just takes a little patience. And um, other than that, it should be pretty easy. So I think we're going to do a floral one today because I want to take a picture on the floral one just to see what it'll look like. So this one is actually the Pioneer Woman brand. So this one I think was a little bit more expensive, um, but I feel like that's okay because this floral design is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to open this up here and we'll take a look at it, what it looks like unrolled. And I'm actually using one of my old poster boards. So I get my poster boards at the dollar store, my white and black ones. And then whenever they start to get a little dinged up, that's when... I, I save them so that way I can use them for like this kind of project and just kind of revamp it a little bit. Um, and then, you know, I'll buy a new, I have a new white and black poster already that I'll use until those get all, you know, not looking cute anymore. So that's what that is. So I'm going to pull this thing off. Whoopsies. Probably could have pulled that off a little bit better. That's okay. Instructions. We don't need those. We don't need instructions. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. You guys, I am so freaking excited. Ooh, and this one's like long enough to just go top to bottom. So depending on the size that you want your poster, this is just a standard poster board from the Dollar Tree. It looks like this would be just enough to cover. So this one's actually going to be a little bit different of a method than I did with my other one. So at the end, I'll go ahead and show you my other one because I had to do a little bit of a different method with that one. Um, but this one should be super easy. So all we're going to do is I'm going to roll this out. Let's move my poster board real quick. I'm going to roll this out on my table. Okay. And I want to have enough for the ends. Um, just so I can wrap it just to kind of hold it a little bit easier because these are I think this one's removable I know the other ones are this one just says adhesive laminate. I wonder I'm sure it has some kind of removableness to it uh, Especially if you're sticking it in your shelves and you know if if you ever move you have to be able to peel it out I guess so I'm assuming that's the case but who knows? Okay, this does not want to stay open. <laughs> I'm going to use my tape there. But I'm going to just take my poster board here. 
and I'm just going to see where I need to cut so that way I can have some at the end. I want to be able to just wrap it around so that way it's holding, you know, it holds a little bit better. So I don't need a ton, but I do want a good amount to hold this down. So I'm just going to take my scissors. The nice thing about these is they have lines on the inside, so it makes it really easy. Now I'm just going to go in with my scissors and just trim this up here. doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so once that's done, the best way I've found to do this is to take off a little piece, wrap it on one side, and then we'll flip it over and start peeling off the other part of it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to peel the backing on this part, if I can get it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pull this off all the way down. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Okay, just like so. And I think I'm gonna use my tape again to hold that down. <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna keep getting in my way. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna cut some of this off so it's out of my way. So I'm just gonna trim it. This is just the way I found worked best for me rather than trying to peel the whole piece off and mess with that it just i think this is a little bit easier so i'm going to peel that off then i'm going to move this back down so again i'm making sure that top and bottom are matching okay and once i'm convinced that that looks good i'm just going to take this and i'm going to pull as hard as i can from the middle and i'm going to lay the middle down first and then I'm going to keep pulling the parts that I'm putting down next, just so I'm pulling this as tight as possible down on here. Go over with the other side and do the same thing. And it's okay if it's in the back and it has some bubbles, I feel like that's okay because I'm not going to show the back side of it. All right, so then flipping it over. Let's see, which way did I pull this last time? I think I pulled it the other way. So I'm actually going to flip it this way. And from here, I'm going to pull this out. Okay, the easiest way I've found to do this is to roll this back up, you know, like it's on the roll, just so you're not working with so much at a time. Otherwise, you end up having, you know, all this stuff in your way. I'm going to take a ruler. And I'm slowly going to peel some of this off. Whoopsies. Rip that piece in half. Just going to pull this up. Okay. And as I'm laying it down, so again, pulling it as tight as I can before I even lay it down. Pulling it nice and tight. I'm going to use my ruler to just kind of help me flatten this like I'm smoothing out any bubbles because I don't want bubbles on the front side. So I'm just gonna do this all the way down and I'm actually holding this piece and the piece that I'm pulling and as I go down, I'm gonna just be pulling on that paper so that I can pull the backing off as I go down. So kind of just multitasking with my hands here. So like the more that I've done it, the easier it has gotten. And you just want to go nice and slow. No need to rush, especially this stuff is a little bit more pricey than the dollar store. So I want to make sure I'm putting it to good use here. And this actually, this one is a lot easier than the one that I did. Um, previously so I'll show you that one and kind of talk you through the steps I did with that one because I wrapped it not only on the sides but like the top and the bottom which I kind of like better but for the sake that this is just for pictures um, you know I think this is fine so just really easy I'm just using my ruler and again I'm pulling on this as I go makes it super easy and avoids all the bubbles. 
This board is gorgeous. I'm so excited to take pictures on here. Literally so excited. I saw this floral and I was like, it's mine. <laughs> Almost there. Almost to our end. I'm running out of room to push it over that way. Alrighty. I think I'm at my edge here. So then I'm just going to take this peel it off the rest of the backing being careful because now I have this whole you know big free edge over here and then again doing the same thing I did on the other side pulling it as tight as I can before I lay it down just to make sure I don't have like the ends aren't super baggy and there's not like weird bumps over here on this outer edge But there we go, super easy. And because I don't know if this is, it doesn't say on the packaging, it says on the other one. So, and I'll show you which other one I'm talking about. And I'm pretty sure the Dollar Tree ones are removable as well. Um, but just in case these are removable, which I'm sure they are, but I wanna make sure this doesn't just like randomly peel off on me. So I'm just gonna take some tape back here and lay it on here just to make sure this doesn't randomly pop off. I don't know if this is removable or not, but I'd rather not have done all this work just to have it, you know, come undone. So I'm just gonna put these on here. It doesn't have to be pretty, because again, this isn't the side that I take pictures with, so just depends. There we go gorgeous and there you go guys there is a really pretty poster board super easy so dollar tree poster board little piece of tape um or not tape what is this called um adhesive shelf liner to make it a little bit fancier so when taking pictures on it um or doing whatever on it super cute so cute oh my gosh i am in love with this board so this one is one that I just recently did. Um, this one's actually two poster boards put together because I wanted it to be a little sturdier and a little thicker. Um, but I'll show you the back here. So this is what I did. I pretty much did the same step. As far as rolling it out, I did the same exact steps, except I did wrap it on the top and bottom. And in order to do that, I had to use more than one piece. So I don't know if you can see, I'm sure you can, you can see where it connects here. I couldn't get it to line up perfectly, which kind of with these patterns, it is kind of hard. It's like it matched up perfectly over here. And then as it went, it started to not match up as much as I wanted it to, but that's okay. Um, you know, I just won't take pictures down there. It'll probably be more stuff over here or I'll cover that up with something else. Um, so I did have to use two pieces. So I did the full piece just like I did for the floral one all the way across. And then I added, once I did that one, I added the second piece, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to wrap it. Um, and again, it was more just so that way I can ensure that this doesn't pop off. Um, and there's two poster boards in here. This is actually two poster boards put together. So then it kind of hides the poster boards and helps keep them together. I did tape them together before I put this stuff on here, but all I did is wrapped it like a present. So, um, I did one way I cut the sides straight and then up at the top, I cut little corners going, going in this way. So that way when I folded it down, it looked like a present kind of thing. So I think it looks better on this side. Looks a little bit better over here. If you can see the corner here, so this was the top piece. This piece I cut straight um, for the side piece and then I just pulled that down. So just different options for you, but um, surprisingly, 
this floral one was the exact same size as far as width wise as the poster board so I didn't have to do that for this one and I didn't know that honestly until I unrolled it so I had full intentions to show you how to do this way but then we chose this one and that's how it worked out but there you go you guys that is just a fun way if you're looking to upgrade your poster boards and have a little bit more fun taking your pictures and all of that good stuff um, again everything you can find stuff at the dollar store I found stuff at Walmart I'm sure anywhere that sells the adhesive shelf liner stuff. I actually kind of want to go check out some other stores and see if there's some other kind of patterns that I can find, even like the wood grain. Um, and I'm also really excited for the marble. I'll have to make one of those as well. But you can do this pretty cheap. And again, poster boards from the dollar store. You can also get some of this adhesive shelf liner at the dollar store. Um, the ones that these two were both about $5 each for the roll, but you get a ton. Like, I don't know, like I have so much left that didn't even, doing this didn't even put a dent in my roll so I could, you know, make several more or something like that. I can do something crazy with the rest of this shelf liner, so I'll kind of have to figure that out. But, um, or if, you know, it gets all messed up, at least, you know, you have some backup and can make a new one for pretty cheap. Um, but I hope this helps you guys out with taking some pictures for Instagram and just having fun with your backgrounds. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!